got it. Well, the boys are back in town. We've got all what three up, of us. What up, what up? I'm back. What about it? <laughs> it's been like a month for James. I haven't been on a long time. We hit a couple few weeks ago, I feel like. Well, me and you did one two weeks ago, um, and we did a little James show rundown since he wasn't with us. Work, work yeah. kept him late. And then last week, I think um, you're doing an eating contest or something. <laughs> and then you got he, another he, one coming up. Can, can he, He's eating can hot he dog. <laughs> <Can he tell? laughs> getting the fogs. <laughs> I know there me and go. James are getting sunk in, and you're all there looking all happy. Yeah, y'all need to hurry up and get fat with me so I don't look bad. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to get fat, honestly. I I'm going to really dude. try hard this year. I'm not doing it, man. I'm not. Bet. <laughs> I got, Bet. I'm fucking serious, man. Like, I, I just, I'm not. I'm getting too old to do that fat thing. I know, dude. It's hard. It's easier said than done, trust me. I know. Way easier said than done. Once you got that freedom. How many times have y'all said this like, before? <laughs> I just don't even like want to. I don't even want bad food anymore. I just want like clean, more food. See, that's what I want now. But we always yeah, but have that... like cookies laying around. And so then I'm always like, why make rice when I could grab a cookie? And I end up yeah, just like, like, I don't even. <laughs> I'm just kind of like over it, I guess, right now. All but right, that's so fresh. James... You feel healthy and good. And then yeah, yeah. show ends. There's no goal. And you're like, ah, it's the holidays. And then all of a sudden you're up 25 pounds. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta stay in shape because I'm going down to Florida and I got a bunch of photo shoots of reviving raw after. Uh, so you have to have veins in your um, calves for the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so that's that's how you do it. You got to keep stringing along events that requires you that there's some type of pressure to be in shape. <laughs> you know. See, that's that's what I'm doing because yeah. our daughter's going to be born end of November, early December. So I'm like, I need to be in shape in those hospital photos and stuff. Like, I can't be like the bloated dad, like snoring and <laughs> shit and like waking the baby up. No, you can't. But like, so since I haven't got so heavy, man, like I actually don't even wear my sleep apnea machine anymore and I don't snore. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's that Nick. That neck's getting thin, dog. That's what it is. Yeah. Hey, that's the first thing they did when I did my um, sleep apnea or first consultation or whatever. They measured that neck. <laughs> what was your neck measurement? Uh, somewhere around 18. I can't remember. Mine, mine was 19 and a half, man. I think mine was 18 and a half. You little pencil so. neck. I would assume <laughs> your neck's bigger than that. Maybe because me and James have long necks. I don't think you have a long neck. I, th I should have flexed it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's because Barley don't have any traps, man. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> hey, listen, 280 this morning, bull. Something's going to happen. You've been doing those lats. You've been, do you've been hitting them lats, haven't you? Dude, I've been digging the lats, son. Yeah, they're digging. looking way fuller. Dude, how, how, great, how good are those exercises? <laughs> And it's just, it's crazy that, you know, I wish I'd known it, you know, four or five years ago. That's I the mean, worst. You finally make the connection. You're like, what have I been doing the past six years? You're like, yeah, shit. Yeah. It took me 14 years before I learned how to train lats. Yeah. Because I, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's just one of those things where with, you know, you got to develop that muscle maturity and that, and that mind muscle connection it's not always there from day one you know what i mean because you don't have yeah, but but you can choose exercises that set you up correctly to target right muscle. right yeah but most this, like bent over rows with a barbell your natural path of doing it might be rear delt rhomboids well yeah. most most people when they row and you're always taught this it's like chest up you're using a lot of trap and rear yeah. delt and so that's yeah. what you do your whole life you have to have it. Yeah. And then you have to learn, oh, I can actually arch my back slightly and keep a tight core. Like, not like arch, but you know what I'm saying? Like, keep it more upright and really dig in that lower. Well, um, well the for, the lat, for the lats to really fully work, you have to have a neutral spine. Yeah. Because my neutral spine, it almost feels like you're, like, curving your back a little bit, but you're not. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And so yep. it's like, and then you almost have to crunch down to that side. And that's why I learned last prep like three weeks out i was doing different i was like i'm gonna switch up a little bit you know get different targets and i was like "Ooh, 
And I was like, what yeah. the heck? All the contractions. I was like, damn, this whole time. <laughs> yeah, when you're leaner, you can feel stuff better too. Y'all notice Especially that. Especially after a high day. Well, that's why you bring up a good point there, man. That's why I don't want to get fat because – I feel like your training and your pumps are better when you're like, there's, you're at that good oh, okay. balance of leanness. Yeah. yeah. You know, and your lower I, back feels better so you can lift heavier without barfing. And my, you know, like my elbows, like whenever I get fat, my elbows hurt, my knees hurt, my, like, because the inflammation so high, my face looks like crap. Right. <laughs> like me. <laughs> hey, listen, if, you know, I hold water like nobody's business. Y'all know, you y'all do. know that. You so, do. I can, if I need to get ready for something in a couple of days, I can look somewhat presentable. You know, be back I mean? down to two fifty. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to the man sending Dude, you the cases. What eight cases? Ten. That's pretty Good, dope. Man. That's like really dope, actually. Yeah. It's like a that's a goal. Dude, the you're bike caffeinated of, all day though. Now, hey, the best part about it was uh, that note in there, dude. That's uh, that on your you putting that on your fridge. I would, <laughs> yeah, I need to put it on my fridge. I guess I would never I lose that. I oh, might put I would the actually, IFPB Pro card behind you. Yeah, I would yeah, actually I was, frame that. Yeah, I was considering framing it as well. Hey, have you got a belt yet? IFPB Pro belt yet? I got one being made. Okay, cool. For my boy, Astretics. That's where I get all my belts. And uh, he said he's gonna hook me up with one. So that's cool. Yeah. So, what's y'all's uh, fasted weight this morning for the listeners out there? I was two fifty six this morning. Yeah. About you, Case? Two thirty eight. I'm I'm lightweight. <laughs> hey, drop. I'm the time. mini. I'm the hey, I'm drop. the tall twig again. Hey, that's what happens when you get. A I'm fu- I'm fucking hard ways. as a rock right now, though. Yeah, two, you are. Two fifty six. Yeah. <laughs> You are, dude. You look like that. Uh, what's that one? I can't remember the movie, but but the uh, superhero type. Yeah, he's just a, he's a rock with, with the rock yeah. with no shape, <laughs> just fucking blob. Yeah, it's yeah, me. just. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that the thing from the Fantastic Four? The thing. Yeah, it's Fantastic Four. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I mean, I probably put on like solid, a solid tissue, like probably eight, ten pounds the past like three weeks. Dude, yeah. That's nuts. I'm telling you, like, I, well, I told you guys, I haven't taken a day off and I've eaten super clean and a lot. And I've been doing cardio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's a recipe. It's like the um, Ronnie Coleman style. That's why I gained more size and prep, too. I kind of, my preps are always kind of, you know, whatever you call it, brain dead. Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, Sorry, James, I'm, thinking Casey, of, I'm trying Casey. to think of the word goodness recomp. It's like a recomp. So I, that's all my preps. I always people are always like, oh, you got bigger, you got in shape, and it's like, well, it's like you keep the body fresh, and then you just go hard, and then you could increase the cardio, increase the food on certain days in this carb cycle, and then your body just starts evolving, kind of like what yeah. you're doing. It's like you're so primed from your shows that you're just like eat up, and so it's all going right to the muscle. And then what I did was, is my training is sarcoplasmic based. Uh, you're doing yeah. that P tour. Well, n- no, it's my own. It, sarcoplasmic hypertrophy just really means swelling of the muscle. Yeah. And get, and what it does is it increases your nutrient uptake like crazy and just fills them out. That's how, that's why I'm looking rounder. That's why, that's how I usually train. I think Bartley trains like that too. I'm training high volume yeah. like you guys right now. Like yeah. I'm doing a like I'm doing at least four sets. I'm doing four sets. RPE, first set, RPE seven, second eight, third nine, fourth ten. Yeah. The one yeah. to failure. I mean, sometimes I'll do two, but like. Yeah, that's about what I do. Like, sometimes you have to do a second set. Like, that felt good. Well, no, sometimes I'll overshoot the third set and I'll be like, oh, fuck, I really, that was, that was a failure. <laughs> that was a 10, but then I'll do yeah. another one. Yeah, or you'll have some Rick Ross on in the background and be like, get that yeah. extra couple reps. He's like, yeah, I'm feeling it, baby. <laughs> so, I, so I think just me pairing that style of training versus what I was doing and then increasing my food and decreasing cardio when I was already in a very lean state it was, like, really good. Why are you looking so much more bubbly in your arms and shoulders and stuff and your chest? Yeah, I think you're bubbled right now. 
well, you know how I'm ending every body part, man. So I do uh, eight, six sets of eight with like a 10 to 12 rep load with 30 second rest in between. So like the first like three sets are like pretty easy, but then like it starts getting harder and harder. And those, th- it just swells me up, man, like crazy. Yeah. Like a, you pick an exercise where it's like overloaded, like the shortened position too. So it doesn't cause too much soreness. So you're just, it's really just like swelling. Uh-huh. That's but kind yeah, of like, the, that's always usually how I end out my workouts, especially leg days with just like a, I'd do like a sissy extension. Uh-huh. So it's like a sissy squat on the leg extension. You saw me do it. Just where yeah, I yeah. keep my hips up and I just flood the muscle and just like expand that tissue. Sorry to interrupt you. Barley. Fucking what? Casey trains like a goddamn maniac, man. I train with this guy in Pittsburgh and he's about to get kicked <laughs> out of the gym, dude. He's like break, about to break all the machines and stuff, dude. I was like, so I'd have to no, like, tell me about it. I'd be, like, I'd, be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, don't be rude, Casey. Don't be rude. And he would know what I mean because he'd be like getting freaking crazy in the set and not know that he's like <laughs> the machine up. I'm like, Casey, calm yes. down. It's, it's not like our home gym, you know? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm, I'm used to the machine sit with my sort of like, you know, um, what do you call it? range of motion and so that leg extension would like go up yeah. and click and it would hit and so i started kicking getting in the zone and all of a sudden he was like don't be rude i'm like oh shit because it was like boom, boom. i was like you're about to break that fucker man <laughs> well we had like four plates on that and i was just trying to get in uh, and just go at it that, that was a good leg extension we're going back there after this show oh that was leg the best leg extension i may have ever used in my life hey hey don't worry i'll bury y'all there here in a few weeks you gonna go are you, are you coming I'll try to. All right. What day do y'all compete on? Wednesday. Yeah. The hump day. Oh, shit. I can't get up there. I can get up there on the weekend. Is anything on the weekend? Friday, Saturday? It's like a uh, figure. It's all the girls. Yeah. It's all the bikini and stuff. I think bikini is the last day on Saturday. I think. Yeah. I'm going to leave probably like Friday morning because we're going to stay Thursday. So I can watch open, get a training session in, eat some food downtown, just kind of have a chill day after the contest. And then um, yeah. the day after, head home. So y'all compete Wednesday, both of y'all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who, who else yeah, is? I'm... Is it men's physique and classic physique on Wednesday? Yeah, so it goes classic oh. competes for. It's just like I did at Masters. Oh, that's classic. good. So I don't want to wait for those guys. Yeah, but have you noticed men's physique goes backstage so early? Like they're there oh, before so I'm early. there. They're camping. They'll be out, back dude. there posing for hours. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, <laughs> Casey, next this time where I'm waiting, I'm gonna watch the older guys go first in the stands. Do what uh-huh. I did like for finals because I don't want to like sit on the floor for like ever and like yeah. I don't either, the- unless I'm like holding water in my legs, then I'll be like, <laughs> but like you get smell the farts and shit back there and like watch everybody <laughs> eat rice cakes and peanut butter. Yeah, it's nothing but a rice cake party back here. Because you, you know how North Americans was Barley, they line you up so early. Yeah. So I want to get there yeah. like just when they line me up, and then I'm not going to start pumping up till like I'm like, no, the next group. Now yeah. they get glazed until the last minute. I'm gonna be. I'm get glazed, and then you can't lay down. Then you can't sit down. Yeah, yeah that's the worst. Glazed. Yeah, I'm always getting glazed and running in line. So like, where's the number? I'm like, they want you to. <laughs> The, the, they try to get you to corral so early. It's like, yeah, like two hours before you go on stage early. Like, come on, man. Like, uh, that's what they did not, to me at nationals. I'm not gonna miss my, I'm not gonna miss my spot, dude. I've been training 20 weeks for this. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be there. Yeah, James. James got a taste of it there at the, at the, uh, Norfolk. You know, because it's a pro am. So you kind of saw it. It was more laid back. You know, yeah. I feel like the, you know, the pro level people well, you they, had, they don't hound as much. Yeah, you had Tony running it. Uh, that's yeah. My, yeah, Tony's good. He's a, he's like the best yeah. expediter. Yeah, he's good. Is that is that the black dude? Yeah, he did, he's the one who did the Olympia last year. Yeah, he's he's everybody cool. up. Yeah, he's yeah, I'm, cool. friends with, I'm friends with him and his wife. They're like Virginia. They're like the Virginia chapter presidents. Oh, uh, for NPC. Oh, yeah, he's always at North Americans. That's where I, I remember yeah. him from. He does all of Gary Udits. Anytime okay. Gary throws a contest, he's there. Yeah. All right, let's hit a few questions here, guys. We got uh, 
what do you recommend your female clients eat for cheat meals? Does it differ from males? No, it doesn't differ. Not on my end either. It's just the amount's going to be smaller. Yeah, like, I'll yeah. maybe say like don't eat a thousand calories or something worth. And most, know, most, girl, there. most girls don't like pig out like guys. No, I mean, some some do. The ones that do, like, do it all week though, <laughs> but not like a mere Bartley or, or you type pig. Out. Yeah, yeah, not like like they might be one it's cookie, like one yeah. carbivore cookie, and they're like, oh, I'm so full. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hey, that is a lot not, for a female, right? Yeah, I, they just don't have the capacity that guys yeah. have. You know, just smaller, smaller humans. I think but, girls, uh, though, like you need to like let them kind of what they want to like taste because they're more they need like emotional their, like, emotional connection to food. Usually, yeah, they may yeah. not eat a lot, but they might have like a like different like taste options. They might like go to like a couple different places to grab what they want, but they're not gonna eat like yeah. the whole thing. Like if I get like a cheesecake say, at the store, I'm gonna eat the yeah. whole cheesecake. Where they just probably want like a little sliver. Can't have it in the house tomorrow. Yeah. The diet yeah. starts tomorrow. I just tell them uh, eat what makes you happy, and just don't, you know, for far enough out. Just just don't overdo it. You know, you know what's excessive. Eat until you're content. Don't go overboard and eat something that you're going to look forward to training hard all week to get it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I say that cheat way. meal, that's exactly what I mean. I don't even put restrictions on them. What I do is I have a time limit. I'm like, you have 30 minutes. Because <laughs> some people try to stress. Nah, some people try to stress their cheat meal out like all night. So I'm oh, like, no, yeah. it's like a 30 oh, minute yeah. window. Like, <laughs> right. yeah. Do you, guys, <laughs> do you guys do the same thing as me on like a high day where it's like once the clock, if it, if it, if you're staying up past midnight, once it hits midnight, it's a new day, and you're like, no more. No. no, I haven't done it. But I'll do that because I'm like I'm cutting myself <laughs> off at a certain time if I'm still awake. No, I'm a I'm never a, a never awake over midnight, but if I am, I consider my my day when I go to sleep. Same. Yeah, I I I was actually up at midnight not too long ago. It was like the first time in forever. But it, it sucks like, when it happens. Honestly, I don't know how Bartley does his ship schedule changes because I'm like. It throws off my whole schedule the whole week. I'm slowly trying to put it back. I'm just a night owl. I'm used to staying up, you know, even if I don't work, I'll stay up to two, two or three. It's just, I don't know. If I if I had the choice, I would be a night owl. Yeah. But I don't. Off season, I'm more of a night owl, but in prep, I, you're waking up so early, you want to go to bed early. Yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah prep prep you go to sleep as early as you can because you're so freaking hungry that you don't have any more meals to look forward to <laughs> yeah and then you wake up at 2 a.m anyways or 3 a.m you're like go back to sleep yeah. go back to sleep like shoot i just introduced a six I, meal again just protein so i can wake up if i wake up early get some food protein in me and go back to bed so i can sleep a little bit more i did that so i'm at eight meals so i do that <laughs> I do a I do a protein I pudding saying. when I I do a protein pudding when I wake up because like if I don't do that man like I'm starting to like I, I start going for like pe jars of peanut butter <laughs> like like a couple of days ago man dude like it's so bad it's so bad dude don't tell Matt but like I fucking randomly my wife had this like cinnamon bread in the freezer because mm. she was gonna eat it on her high yeah. carb day like a month ago. So I've been kind of looking at it every time I look in the freezer. I'm like, eh. well, the other night I fucking was like, fuck it. So I grabbed, like, it's just like 2 a.m. I grabbed the loaf and then I just started putting the bows in the toaster and then buttering that thing up with almond butter, oh, man. Oh, the cinnamon. And then I, I ate yes. the whole loaf, man, about like 24 slices and two jars of almond butter. <laughs> Cause I didn't uh, finish yeah. all the almond butter with the with the bread, but I had about a half left of one. You're I'm a like, scoop, fuck it. I said I hate myself. I gotta put myself <laughs> through this tor this torture. I don't want this in the house anymore. <laughs> I just started eating the whole mm. jar. Yes. I you guys would never me. survive in my house. Goodness. <laughs> I can't have anything around, man. Like. I'm saying the other dude. day, it was so bad the other night, man. Like this is that wasn't even the worst. The worst was <laughs> I had literally had art. So this is after the peanut butter bread fiasco. 
like the next night. I'm like, I'm not doing this again. I'm 100% on my diet. Well, 2 a.m. rolls around. <laughs> I'm going through the cabinets like a damn raccoon. <laughs> I have nothing because I threw away hey. all my shit. Hey, you got those peanuts in there because I got in them. I know there's peanuts there, but I I, I didn't get in the peanuts. <laughs> but so I had nothing, but I had cream of rice, and I was too lazy to fucking make cream of rice. I just put it in a bowl, mixed it in protein and water, and fucking ate it. Just <laughs> non-cooked cream of rice. It was the grossest thing I ever had in my life. But it was so satisfying. And I was like, oh, I just needed carbs. I need <laughs> Dude, your body's yeah, lit up right now, it. though. Your metabolism is so, so up there. <laughs> it's Bro, I'm stupid. Talking, I'm talking a whole bag of, of uh, uh, Pride Foods cream of rice. It's good. actually pretty good. I felt like a basic white bitch, though, because it was pumpkin spice, but it was really good. Hey, dude, dude pumpkin stuff so is good. I can eat it. I can eat it dry. That's why I can't buy it. I used to eat it dry, just get a spoon. And oh, put it in my head. Okay, so like, I'm not. Crunch on. I'm not, I'm not like too weird for doing that then, Bartley. No, no, no. Because I, I didn't want to hey, cook it. I was like, good. man, I don't feel like, I don't feel like putting it in the fucking yeah, yeah. shit, let it cool off. I don't feel yeah. like doing all that. No, I've but speaking of nut butter, that stuff you posted the other day, I've been thinking about that. The folk and nuts, the, um, what was it? Oh, um, butterscotch. Or, butterscotch. Butterscotch. Yeah, I was like, was when fire, you said there's chunks in it, I was like, <laughs> I love Eight, butterscotch. Six, one a day. I ate six jars in three days, so it's two a day. Dude, that's gonna put some size on you. Likewise, <laughs> two eighty fasted. Goodness, yeah. Yeah. look at the biceps. Not... The freaking things are as thick as heck. What are your goals oh, this off season, Marley? Like, I'd like to be two eighty five lean. Two eighty five lean. Yeah. What's your pro weight cut off? Are you just going open? Uh, no, I'm gonna do classic. I'm going to, because uh, I still got 10 pounds. Y'all know how hard it is to put on 10 pounds of tissue, quality yeah. muscle. Yeah, but you with your, like, so. with your sleep improving and all that, I mean, that's well, maybe like recovery is a maybe. big part of gaining. Yeah. I think you're going to gain real fast, especially with you connecting with the lats better, because no yeah. thick and heavy lats get, and then your legs obviously yeah. are a strong point now. They blow up every year, so. I think, I think if everything's perfect, and I progress how I want to over a full year off season. I think uh, ten would probably be the max I could put on. So I'd still be in classic. You know, what would you have be to able cut? to sit down for classic? Forty two forty, right? Yeah, two forty. So forty five if I'm at two eighty five. And I'm talking That's about uh, standard. That's about standard prep yeah. loss with yeah. the water cut. Yeah, yeah, right. The first 10, 15 pounds come off pretty fast. Yeah. So, yeah. Last night I had a uh, whole box of cereal, family size. I had a loaf of bread, or it was a half loaf of sourdough. I think it's like fifteen, sixteen slices, something like that. And uh, I just put maple syrup on every one of them and ate them back to back to back. Dude, me and Barley are like the same, man. It's so funny, dude. <laughs> hey, I I tell you what, there's something I made up last night. Is I I put uh, the piece of bread in a bowl, covered it with syrup, put it in the microwave, pulled it out. It was like the inside of a cinnamon roll, you know, the, like the little chewy, yeah, good, good yeah. flavor on it. And I'm like, dang, I might have made something up here. <laughs> I just need some little uh, whipped cream to shoot on top, boy. I'd have a you know, there. you know what I found now that was really good a couple like a week ago? I didn't have any cereal, but I had rice cakes. I just crushed up the rice cakes and then poured, poured uh, almond milk and protein yeah. powder in cereal. And then I put yeah. honey and almond butter on it. It was really good. Hey, it's basically the same thing, but healthier. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to you know do that I mean? from now on. Yeah. Instead of buying rice checks. Yeah. Yeah. I actually liked it better. Because you can't stay out of rice checks. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> rice cakes are easier to chew, so you can go through it quicker. But the yeah, but the uh, rice cakes don't get as soggy either. Yeah. So you're always gonna get a good crunch. Oh yeah. Hey, got another question here. If you were a Pokemon, which one would you be and why? <laughs> Charizard. That's I, just, I love Charizard. He's my he favorite. is always my favorite. Yeah. 
dang, y'all ain't trying to be, uh, y'all ain't trying to be, uh, yeah, I was Snorlax until I got, I was going to say Snorlax, yeah. <laughs> was it Blastoid or something? Blast, Blastoid. Yeah. There's the uh, champion or something. He's like a boxer. Uh, Dude, my Pokemon days were like 25 years ago, man. Like, oh, I yeah. played Pokemon Go for a little bit, like what, 2016 when it was all popular. I, Dude, got, I got obsessed like with that for a while. It was bad. And then I, I, I quit. I, yeah, I deleted the app because I got out of my car and I was trying to catch a Pokemon. I locked my keys in my car and I was like, I'm wasting my life. And I just deleted the app. Dude, that'd be great cardio though, right now, dude. If you just play, you're like, oh, I'm going to go play Pokemon Go for an hour. True. Just like five hours. Hours. <laughs> Dang. Like, yeah. This is a good idea. Because <laughs> I think it gets hey. your step count up like crazy. Hey, yeah. Hey, James, James, you just got to throw on some heaters. You go chase down some Pokemon, find a cool shot to take a shoe yeah. pick, prop it up. Keep your relaxing. Steps going. Dude, he has to be on like a thousand yeah. grams of carbs a day if he did that. <laughs> Pretty much where I'm at right now, to be honest with you. That's crazy, dude. dude. That's awesome. I, I get a fucking cheat meal tonight, too, like an authorized one. <laughs> first, my what first one. <laughs> authorized <laughs> my, first, my first authorized one that's like you need a cheat you're looking depleted you're like but i mean i was like i was like i told him i was like dude i've been cheating every night man and what, like, what? what? <laughs> he was shocked dude he was shocked yeah because he he thought you was just so worn down and hadn't ate nothing and you know what i mean yeah <laughs> i was toughing it out right. for a long time man yeah and then after that Last show, I was like, man, gotta, I gotta yeah. like quit getting out of this. I gotta get out of deficit for a little bit. Well, My you way, got, you get, you get, <laughs> you get plenty of time though. You know what I mean? That's where people mess up when they try to do back to back shows. Like you gotta, you gotta give yourself a break there in between if you got enough time. You can't go back to one week out macros, no. man, no. and cardio. No. No. You'll fucking, you won't. You'll look like a swimmer. Yeah, that's which I already kind of have that problem anyway. <laughs> so Everyone like, always said you look like a swimmer's build. Always growing up, I was like, twig. <laughs> <laughs> so um, y'all are going with Charizard? Uh, He's just my favorite. I also like uh, I also like Mew. Uh, Mew. Oh yeah, I remember going to the movies because he was really fun to catch. Arctic for now for free. I like yeah. Articuno also because he was like the legendary bird that was like super hard to catch. So he shot the frozen stuff. Oh yeah, I remember it. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to be Pikachu. That's just no. You know, it's too. Uh, it's too gender neutral. <laughs> I need. I need to be something. Nine tails. Something Nine fire. tails is pretty dope too. He was really good in a card game. Dude, you used to collect Pokemon. Don't lie. Dude, I should have sold. I should sell my Pokemon cards. I have the entire original set. <laughs> really? Dude, yeah. dude, what about? Do you have the They're holographic? All in pretty good shape too. Do you have the holographic Charizard? The one that I have several of them. Going for I have like crazy five or money. Six. I have like five or six of them. Dude, you need to get those graded. Have Not you seen much. what they're going for? Yeah, they go for a lot. No much money Dude. James has in assets just laying around his house. I don't know. I just wish I had it in my bank account. Hey, you better bump up at uh, uh, house insurance. Yeah, I got insurance on all my shoes, man. Really? Yeah. I sold 20 pairs this week, too, homie. Goodness. Gosh. Yeah, on eBay. That's a lot of work. That's a I'm lot of work. doing that for a while again. So what well, like was packing the, all uh, the boxes, taking them to the fucking uh, U, uh, USPS, responding to all these people trying to uh, uh, all those all those pictures, all those all pictures, the pictures, yeah, the listing, yeah. yeah. Well, the listing's not bad because you could just scan the UPC on the box and everything comes up. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah, so say that saves you a lot of time. But once you don't have boxes, you have to. Did you sell all dead stock or no? No, but I, I, my first wave was ones I all had boxes for, just because it was easier with the UPC. But so then my next wave is gonna be ones that I threw away the boxes. What was the highest one you showed? <laughs> uh, reverse shatter backboards. I got twelve hundred for. 
Dang, what did you uh, pay for them? I got this for retail like several years ago. Uh, they're so the third one seventy one eighty. I think they were like one forty back then. It was like two thousand fifteen, I believe. They were just a size fourteen, and I never wore them because they were one size big. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm like, I haven't worn those. And I looked at it and I was like, I haven't worn those in at least a year. I'm selling them. So if I got, I haven't worn it in like a year, gone. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, you've been you've been killing it this week. Yeah. I didn't I didn't even wake up to try those uh, Travis Scott lows. I didn't even. Uh, I didn't even try and I got anything. the I got the shorts, dude. My a homie came through for me in the shorts today. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Sweet. So I got the shorts, the highs, and the lows. So, have you seen anybody wearing one low and one high yet? Well, you <laughs> you know somebody's see, going to. You about to see on Instagram today, homie. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> you already take it? Are you playing? No, nah, no. Nah. I already got an idea. I'm going to do a really, really funny video today. It's going to involve all four of them, though. The lows in both brown and blue and the highs in both brown and blue. Because I have all of them. Gosh. Got the whole set, dog. So it's gonna be a funny, re- probably a reel. Yeah, we're gonna get a reel out there because reels, dude, yeah. they get the most views. Yeah, yeah I got that's like called Explore page. I got stupid reels, the dumbest ones. They have like a hundred thousand views, and I have no idea how. It's like me swinging a golf club or jumping out well, of a pool. Well, um, the reels since Instagram wants people to use it more to compete with Vine or not Vine, goodness. Uh, TikTok. TikTok, yeah, they put it on the explore page more often. They advertise it like on people's pages. Oh, so, that's how. yeah, because they it's almost like they promote it for free. Uh, so, okay. I'm wondering, I'm like, how is this? How am I getting like ten thousand views on this video? Because usually, like, I get like a thousand or whatever. Yeah. Or if you post it on like a bodybuilding show weekend, it gets like a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Right, next question. Ever dream about food during prep? I'm yes, and it's probably yes from all the of the buffet us. dreams where you wake Maybe up like every night. Buy it. <laughs> like every James night. does it every night. James said he does it every night. He don't know if it's real life or. I don't. Dream. <laughs> Dude, the other night though, I had a dream and I was like, I forgot. I was eating. I was eating with Dorian Yates, man, and we're eating some oh. like English like breakfast, and it was like what's like sausage and like baked beans and like really good like heavy breakfast yeah big English and then i woke breakfast. up and then i go i was like oh, i'm like sweat i like the bag of the sweats going and stuff yeah. and uh and I'm like, I'm like oh thank god this is a dream i didn't eat that <laughs> i said like dorian yates dude in england it's crazy it's yeah. crazy we need to clip eating, this and i remember i was eating beans because they eat beans for breakfast and it's the weirdest thing to me baked beans <laughs> no, no. Yeah, they love it, dude. Hey, next question. Quick hitter. Most weight gained post-show in one week? I think like 50 or 60 pounds. Dang. What? What? Uh, no. You yeah. 20. 20. Pretty 10, sure it 10? was 50. I was so bloated, dude. I, that was one of my first shows, you know? So I um am I uh this is why I had a coach and they like literally did the whole like no sodium thing, made me drink distilled water, all the th- shit you don't want to do during peak week. And I started depleting the beginning of the week all the way down to where I was like literally like, you know, four days after the show, half gallon. Then it was like go sit in a sauna and all sorts of different wacky methods. And then after the show, rebound yeah. like a mother. Yeah, that's my first rebound Dude, ever. And after hard. the show, that's... I had a box of Trader Joe's stuff. And I was like eating and then I went to go get dinner with my um, wife. And then it was like the saltiest burgers I've ever had in my life. Um, and then literally as a balloon, my ankles were just like, like me and my wife were just laughing my ankles because it looks so gross. We're like, what the heck is that? It's and disgusting. Do I hate that. And you're like it's bloated bad. and you're like, can't sleep. And I hate that, man. The day after the Masters Nationals, when I got back, so I was on stage at like 248. When yeah. I got home, I was 279. Damn. And like, my, hey. my ankles were fucking huge. I'm like, oh, it's so gross looking. Yeah. It looks like my you don't work won't, out. My ankles won't like, swell anymore. Because my body well, seems to be heavy in the off season. And so I have to like, you know, I my muscle mass depletes so much going down the classic. 
And so like even last year after Bartley and I's show, um, it, my weight went up to a, what, 40 pounds or something, like 35, 40 pounds within that week because I went to California, but I still didn't have any ankle swelling or anything. But I just checked my ankles. I'm like, if they're not swollen, I'm just, I'm chilling. <laughs> That's my indicators, my ankles. Yeah. I did, uh, I did 30 pounds in 30 hours after a show one time. That's uh, what, a vlog, that's what a mine vlog was, did. the Pittsburgh one. Like, I didn't pee yeah. once from Pittsburgh to fucking Virginia Beach. Really? No. That's eight hours, right? Yeah, like, the whole time. Dang. I just, I held all the, I, I, I held all that water that I drank. Right. And Your wife's like, did you compete this week? <laughs> and I didn't go too crazy. Like, we didn't go too crazy. Like, you know, like, I had some cookies and, like, a burger and a shake and shit, but not, like, crazy crazy <laughs> some, cookies. Sounds depleted. <laughs> some cookies well, what, burger. no but it wasn't like it was extended no it wasn't time. it, it was wasn't the short. wildest yeah it was a very short window you know yeah and then the next day we're eating like chipotle it wasn't even like and then i got like a straight like rice and fucking chicken bowl like yeah you got like nothing in it i was like yeah yeah, yeah. rice a little bit of lettuce and pico and yeah. beef or something yeah hey what about uh? When's the last time y'all been in Chuck E. Cheese? I'm going tonight. I don't even think they have those around here. That's dude, like they have California. the best pan pizza ever, dude. What, those I've little? been told I've been told that it's extremely underrated. So, uh, we got a like a little surprise birthday party tonight for one of the guys from church, and we're all going to go to. Ch- he he just wanted to go to a nice dinner. It wants to get <laughs> dressed up. Everybody dressy. And then we're going to Chuck E. Cheese, and <laughs> you don't know, <laughs> dude. The pan so pizzas that are so fucking good. I it, like I have childhood uh, memories about that pan pizza. Man, is like some of the best pizza I've ever had. Oh uh, well, yeah. You'll, you'll see, you'll see pan pizza and some skee ball tonight. Stay tuned. Hell yeah! <laughs> I used to as a kid. I used to run up the ramp and drop the ball in like the high point. Where yeah, you just a not head, wouldn't you? Hey, Dude, I hated the here. I hated the big rat when I was a kid. Didn't like Chuck E. Cheese, the mascot. He'd come out I'd be like, nope. <laughs> Shoot. I freaking used to love it. I, we had something called Aladdin's Castle. But it was we had that to too. Check. Okay. Yeah, it was in it was in the mall, so you would hit mm-hmm. that up and man, it was it was a vibe. You know, as a kid <laughs> in there on the weekends, it was pretty sweet. It's just like such a cheap place for your parents to take you and wear you the fuck yeah, out. It's, yeah, it's just here. here Dude, my parents would wear us out with food. Here, here's $10. With what? Here's food. Go to Shakey's, all you can eat buffet or something, just let us eat and eat and eat. It was like, or that or soup plantation, you know, just go and just clear the place out for a few hours. Hey, guys, I need y'all's help. Okay. Uh, I get to create my own hot dog at that hot dog place that I did the charity event at. What do you think I should do? Is there a peanut butter jelly hot dog yet? Or that'd be weird. <laughs> There's peanut butter jelly um, burgers that are good. Yeah, I've never tried it on a hot dog, but yeah, he's got mean, it. it'd probably be like the same. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And you love nut butter. You can do the. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not for sure. I would kind of like something salty, sweet. I was thinking maybe like a sriracha, honey, buffalo dog. Like he's got, you know, he's got uh, he's got wagyu dogs. He's got you know bison. He's got crocodile and ostrich coming. Like Goodness. that's a pretty legit. You could do um sweet and sour with kimchi. Um, uh, I'm I'm a sauerkraut fan. Yeah, I, I used to sauerkraut with burgers. I'd make what German would, burgers at like the Crater Burger places. What would be something that meshed with um sauerkraut? That's kind of crazy. Uh, I I always do like the sautéed onions and mushrooms and all that stuff. Yeah, that's cheese yeah. sauerkraut. Hey, I saw something yesterday. It was an apple pie hot dog. So what? basically, basically took the apple pie, uh, the crust, crumbled up, 
some type of apple pie filling in there, put the hot dog inside it, and then put another layer of dough on top of it and crimped it up like a pop tart or like an apple pie and baked them. And they said those were fire. I got a winner. What do you got? Chicken and waffle hot dog. Explain it. You eat the bun will be the waffle. And then you put like a little fried, fried chicken bits and then the hot dog in the middle on, you know, top. or you just no, deep fry the hot stop. dog. Deep fry yeah. the hot dog. So you can oh make it like goodness. a chicken fry on the hot dog. Yeah. Or something or that. Yeah. Chicken and waffle hot dog, man. That'd be you good. Put maple syrup on there. And, and then, uh, oh, that's or, a or you, maple or syrup is what I want on it. Yeah. You can do that and a little powder, powder, powdered sugar on there probably would be pretty good. That'd oh be good, goodness. honestly. Or like a side of maple syrup, you just dip it. Yeah. Since you're a professional eater and you're always dipping them in water. So, yeah. <laughs> I like that deep fried hot dog with the uh, chicken and waffle, like a chicken. That would waffle. go well with Kentucky, so, too. The whole, like, you so know. So, is he going to have to get a waffle maker or what? Are we making them fresh or do we need to I feel like somewhere? You, yeah, I feel like you make them fresh. They probably have like waffle machines that make it in the taco shape. I've never seen it, but. Well, a waffle is very down for it. Yeah, it's a, like a, it'd be like a taco. Yeah. 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 But I've seen like what waffle makers where it's like the waffle bowls and it like shapes it into like a waffle bowl and you can like put ice cream and stuff in it. Okay. What uh, kind yeah. of, what kind of hot dog? Is there a certain uh, beef? Can you do chicken or chicken hot dog? Or you can do can, ostrich. Can you got the yeah. ostrich there. Yeah, I can check. Because that that would literally be a chicken and waffle hot dog if you get a chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be sweet. I'll I'll check with him. If he can if he can get ostrich and surely you can get a chicken dog or a chicken sausage or something. Yeah. You know, put a chicken yeah. sausage in there, be fire. That'd be fire, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With that deep yeah. fried fucking like oh. a fried chicken on top. Oh, oh man. man. I'd visit that'd Kentucky and eat one in my off season. I feel like I contributed to some like something great here today. Dude, that is phenomenal. You, <laughs> you you see me? I was staring into space for like at least a minute while you guys were talking. I know I saw that. I was like, is James like frozen over <laughs> he's there? Thinking, I was he's like thinking, Rain so. Man. I was like Rain Man, and then it just like came to me. Hey dude, that could be the next big seller. So I'll make sure you get I'll make sure you get free on my royal hot dogs. My royalties, damn it. Hey, we'll pay you in food. All right. That'd be hilarious if that became like a, like a whole thing around the world. And then they're like, where did this originate? goes back to the podcast and James is us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fire. Because everybody likes chicken and waffles. Hey, yeah. You've seen how many I've eaten so far this off season. <laughs> and I've stayed, in, weeks, I've and I've stayed in, our, in, in our debate. The only reason a waffle exists is for chicken you did yeah hey but but you also killed it yeah i did yeah. well if it's okay. between french toast pancakes and waffles the waffles yeah out hey that's that's the best debate we've ever had i think that's a that's it's an a, ageless it's a hard it's an ageless debate it's it's a tough one man it really is yeah and, and uh and what did i do um I banged it, right? Yeah, you banged so. it. Yeah, because I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta have that chicken waffle fix. Did you I ever it. tell you guys the waffle, the waffle ice cream sandwich I made once in high school when I was high? <laughs> no. So <laughs> good. Let's hear it. So you, Let's hear it. <laughs> you have two warm waffles, right? And then you take Nutella and put it on the uh, to the tops of the pieces. And then you put a Klondike bar in the middle that's, you know, fresh out of the freezer and then encase it. So it's like warm, cold, crunchy from the shell on the, um, and then you got the Nutella in there. That's that solid. Was so, that was so good. I need to make that fire. again this off season. And it's contained, but because the yeah. Klondike bar is not going to be like hot, like, you know, like regular ice cream. Yeah, melting out. Yeah. Yeah. It was so good. Dang. Hot. That's a good one. <laughs> Oh, me. I love it. Y'all got any questions? Someone yeah, no, asked me, like, why do you guys eat so many carbs? I think that's kind of obvious. 
because carbs fuel intense workouts and intense workouts change your body and put lean tissue on it yeah and then the more muscle you have the more carbs you need so then it's a never-ending progression of eating more carbs every off season and dieting on more carbs and they're tasty that's the main factor <laughs> <laughs> um i had a question that was what's the most amount of calories you've ever eaten in one day I saw you, what you posted. That was disgusting. I know Bartley's probably done more. I've probably done more too than that. That was just the only time I've ever tracked it. So mine was 30,500 that I've tracked. See, here's the thing with me is I've never woke up and said, today is the day that I'm going to eat the most amount of calories I possibly can. I've never done that. You should do so, it, man. So I know I, I did. need to. I've only done that one time too in my whole life. And I, and I actually documented it. That was the one time I did it. I was like, I want to do this. Well, listen, I'm going to have to do it soon because I need to stretch your stomach out for the world tamale championship next Yeah, month. just go like a couple low days in a row. You'll probably yeah. then maybe a fast the day before because you do that. Yeah. It'll be good, man. Yeah. So I've, never actually, oh, sorry. I've never actually, no, I never actually tracked completely either. Like I wanted to do it. That's going to one day, but then I end up not tracking. I just start eating everything. I, and, it's yeah. like when I, when I put it in my fitness pal and pre-plan my like my high days, like during this prep, I was like pre-planning like the 12k or 15k, and that's easy to get down, especially when you're in prep. So I'm like after a show, I'm like ravenous. It's like I don't, I don't even know how high I've gone, but I don't think I've gone 33k. Because <laughs> looking at those macros, right. I was like, my first meal that day was. To, uh 12,000 my first okay. sitting sheesh you Good guys I, I, hey what was it what it was, was it I, I had a couple pecan pies I had the oh. it was like a over a dozen donuts <laughs> yeah it was like it was like it was like a pecan pie a pumpkin pie um 12 donuts and then uh some other sort of uh pie it was I was like all pies and donuts <laughs> yeah and i got so, him for free because i was eating out of my ship that i had duty that night so i just took him uh, out of the freezer yeah that's easy to get down you're just bored just tasty stuff oh, all right. oh yeah there was cheesecake too yeah so it was like cheesecake pumpkin uh, pumpkin pie and pecan pie during the holidays yeah because it was thanksgiving day so like yeah. we had all that stuff ready for the thanksgiving meal that day dude Man. i've done that at the highest <laughs> because when i used to work security overnight there um the um what do you call it like the the high high-end meetings they would have when those were over there's all this leftover like beef and all their buffet and then they'd have all these pies so we'd just go round up the extra food and just sit in the office all night just <laughs> chowing that was good so what do you think is the biggest cheat code what do you think uh as far as the most calorically dense the easiest way to hit a high number of calories Cheesecake and pecan pie. Yeah. For yeah, me. I think, so. I think so too. And if you could put uh, peanut butter on either one of those. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even do that. But yeah. I don't well, know if it would taste good on the pecan pie, but yeah, like cheesecake, if you put peanut butter on it. Oh, that would be fire. Didn't, yeah. um, Bartley, didn't you say you did like 13K in like Cheesecake Factory once? Yeah. I'm, Went there with uh, Heath Evans, and uh, he said, I got your meal. He said, what do you want? I said, whatever <laughs> you eat. I said, whatever you eat is what I want. Because <laughs> he, he thinks he can eat, too, you know. And uh, so, yeah, we had uh, three courses uh, for 13. It was, like yeah. a, it was like a big old Oreo milkshake, a big slice of cheesecake, uh, some type of Mexican uh, breakfast omelet platter and then uh cinnamon roll pancakes that, that sounds hard. good and that I was 13k like, i think about 13k is a really good like meal like it's yeah. not like too much yeah but it's like it's, enough, this, so like it's not enough to kill you like for the rest of the day though here's what i think i think i could do that three times yeah in a day i could do that and i would probably train twice just because when you I'm won't be able to train, dude. You nah, won't be able to. I'll be able to walk on the treadmill. 
Yeah, okay. Well, that, yeah, you can go on walks. You're not going to go to train. I tried, dude. <laughs> you, you have to go on walks to get the burps and all the, like, gas out. Yeah, so that's what I did. I did uh, I did the big meal, and then I did, like, a walk. But then I broke it down. I got more down to, like, 7,000 calorie meals. And then, like, a five and then a five. So I did, like, yeah. 13, seven, five, five. Yeah. And that was 30. Yeah, you start to slow down there towards the end. <laughs> Dude, the end was really hard, man. Yeah. It was like yeah. sucking down that last my my, my cookie dealer cookie was like, Phew. yeah, because your rib cage is already expanded. And you're taking shallow breaths and stuff. It doesn't get comfortable when you get really <laughs> high up. Uh, I was just like out here, man. Like, <laughs> I think I'm I did like too much half the day now. <laughs> I think I did too much ice cream because I did like five pints of Hagen Dazs. Yeah, they'd, which they'd are a thousand, about a thousand each, about nine hundred yeah. each, or something like that. And there, it's good for like you. one pint, but then after that, I start getting bloated. Yeah, it's like I go to two, it's like you start getting gassy and like you start feeling horrible. It tastes really good with cookies, though. I know a warm cookie and ice cream. <laughs> Shoot. So good. I was looking at um, what was it? Oh, the we the I don't know if you tried that one. The birthday cake cookie we have. It's like chocolate with white chocolate chips, and it has the little um yeah. sprinkles on top. And right. we have, yeah, we have um, the coffee Hagen Dazs ice cream in the freezer, and I was like, that would be so good right now. I was hey, like, next, ep- next episode, I have a great idea. Let's so, do a race to who can eat ten carbonware cookies the fastest. On Bartley here, win. Bartley would win. On here, yeah, we need to ten do of them. Yeah, like we got to eat like all the yeah. You can finish ten the quickest win, and I, I, obviously we'll buy. We don't expect you to. We'll buy them. But like, uh, I think it'd be funny. Dude, or, Bartley or, would dust us though. I don't know, man. I'm pretty fast too. <laughs> I'm, Dude, a, I'm, I'm, I'm no slouch. I'm no slouch. I'm not a fast eater anymore. Hey, I can know. eat a lot, but I'm, I'm sitting there chewing slowly because, like, whenever I try to do a full day of eating, I'm filming myself. I feel like I have to eat faster because there's a camera on, and then I'm like, I don't know. It's like anxiety goes up. I'm not good with it. I like to just sit down, just like savor everybody hey i'm up to a gallon uh in one shot post training every day one gallon so i'm doing the opposite i'm doing vacuum training no i'm doing vacuums too <laughs> no, i'm doing vacuums too I, I i'm sure it doesn't make any sense for me to do vacuums while i'm trying to expand well that but... wouldn't ex- well vacuums don't shrink your stomach it just makes your tba stronger yeah, the pull. That's it what in. I was. That's what I was thinking. I was asking yeah. a couple of the, um, the pro eating guys. I was like, "Hey, listen, does this make sense?" You know, I'm I'm trying to explain to them, and I was like, "I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's not going to affect my capacity, is it?" Now your like, stomach well, lining. There's nothing new with your I mean, stomach lining. Yeah, it's just how far I can, how strong I, I'm able to pull it in. It's just when your stomach's more full, it's harder to pull it in because it's like yeah. resistance. Dude, I wonder how yeah. strong um, friggin' Hottie Chupons has to be because he, he he doesn't have a small waist, but he pulls that in far for his front double. Dude, it it hurts so bad pulling it in, man. I'm holding quarter turns for like 45 seconds right now. I'm about to pass out every one. Dude, vacuums That's are good. easier than quarter turns, though, because the quarter turns you have to rotate and stuff. Quarter turns are the hardest, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. It's like a side vacuum action. Oh, you get, you got to torque it. And you have <laughs> you to have cramps. your air out. You have yeah. to have your air out. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then whenever I'm getting the stomach tight, I always forget to flex the glutes. You know, and yeah. it's like having to remember to like, oh, turn like, and then I forget to flex this arm. I'm like. <laughs> but when you flex your glutes, you have to flex your abs in harder. Yeah. If you flex your glute and you don't pull in as hard, your abs will stick out more. Yeah, the lower part yeah, the abs, lower. like sticks yeah. out. Yep. Hey, Casey, I don't know if you've thought about it, but um, I'm sure you could make a lot of money at the Kentucky Open just selling cookies out of your backpack. See, I don't I don't really want to load my backpack full of cookies. No, so I'd, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd be so tempted because the show's <laughs> over, and then it's like North Americans is a week after, you know? Hey, hey listen, but you can so pay for your thinking- you can. You can pay for your trip just out of selling cookies out of your backpack, though. Well, we're doing, like, pre-orders for it. Like, a couple of people have already okay. ordered. So, we're going to take okay. them in boxes and, like, so I'm not, like, you know, okay. <laughs> just grabbing them. Yeah. Because, man, having a backpack full of cookies after you get off stage, it's 
it's hard to say no and i need to get right back on diet the next day you know get the water off and yeah level out my sodium and all that and get back for north americans i hear you well guys i'm gonna have to cut it short here today it's good to yeah. link back up with y'all i gotta go train a client in uh, nashville so we'll be in nashville rest of the night so yeah you're gonna, uh, gonna, gonna see all that the food on your story check the, yeah let me see you want to see all your entrees you well thanks oh, to me Dude, that's why I need to go sweat so I can make some room for it. <laughs> I'm swelled up right now. So, <laughs> so yeah, might be going to uh, – not sure if I'm going to go to the Tennessee State Fair tonight and, like, win all the games <laughs> and ride roller coasters <laughs> or if uh, or if I'm going to go to uh, – called the Blended Festival. I don't know. It's, like, just a music festival that's going on like all week something about little john was going to be at one of the nights i'm like dang that would be wild well, john. yeah <laughs> so all right boys yeah, until guys. next time y'all later uh, hey stay right. on the stay on the diet boys stay on the i diet. am i mean i get sushi tonight right. i get i get carb right. stay tomorrow morning till noon and then it's back to low carb <laughs> gotta refill a little bit all right, see you guys later. All right, all right boys. See ya. See ya.